Welcome back again, guys. And in this lecture, we're going to be creating our first Perl program. How exciting. So let's jump right into it. So you load up your Padre IDE or you double click on that little pretty blue butterfly that says Padre, the Perl IDE, and you open that up. And of course, it will take us to our text editor by Perl. So our first line of code, we want to type the pound side, followed by the exclamation mark, forward slash, USR, forward slash, bin, forward slash, Perl. And what this line of code does, it just tells the compiler or our operating system where to open up our program or what program to use to run our program file. So it's going to tell us, hey, we're going to open up our program and run it using our Perl program that we installed. So that's all that this line of code does. And this is usually for Unix-like environments or Linux systems and Mac OS X. This is where you would find your Perl program. So, for our second line of code, let's actually give it some space, and we're going to create our Hello Perl. So, type print, followed by parentheses, semicolon, and inside the parentheses, we want to type two double quotation marks, and type Hello, comma, Perl followed by a forward slash n and another forward slash n. So just control and S that, press control and S, and we let's just save it to, let's say, our desktop for right now. So by default, it's called script.pl, and always make sure when you give a file name, when you're creating a Perl program, it always uses the extension PL. So always end your file name with a .pl to let the system know that it's a Perl program. So let's type hello Perl and save it. So if we go up to run, which is located at the top of our IDE, and we just click run script or a shortcut F5. Let's see what happens. Congratulations, look what we have. Hello Pearl, press any key to continue. And it closes out. So let's actually spice up this program a little bit because I don't like the normal hello world and that, that's it programs when you're programming the new languages. So let's do a little bit more fancy things. So let's type another print statement. So type print, followed by the parentheses, semicolon, and double quotation marks, two of them that is. And let's type what, mm, or how about what is, what is your name? Okay, and followed by the next line, we type a dollar sign, followed by, let's type name equals brackets in all capital letters, S T D I N, and to end that statement with a semicolon, and let's do another print command or print instruction. And let's type hello, followed by another comma, space. And after the second double quotation mark, type comma, followed by, I like to copy and paste. So I'll copy the dollar sign name and paste it in there and type another comma space to make it more readable double quotation marks backslash in backslash in 
and I'll click save. So let's see what this does. So if we click run again, click run script, let's see what happens. Hello Pearl. So now it's going to ask us what is your name? So you can type in your name. I'll type in mine, Victor Davis. And what do you have it on our next line? It recognizes us. It says, hello, Victor Davis. Wow. So the computer knows who we are now. <laughs> so click enter. So just in a nutshell, and I'll go over this in details in our further lectures, but a quick description of what the print command does. It just prints and displays output to our monitor for right now. That's all that we wanted to do. We want to see something on our monitor of what the computer or the program is doing. In our next statement, it asks us again, what is your name, which, which we see on our computer monitor. And for this, this dollar sign name is just a container. And with this st STDIN followed by these brackets, it's going to ask us for input from our keyboard. And again, I'll go over all of this in detail in our further lectures. So it's going to say, hey, what is your name? So I want you to type your name from the keyboard and we're going to save that that name into a container called name. So again, what, what we did here was just use another print command saying, hey, I want to see some output saying hello, followed by whatever the user put for their name. And with these backslash and backslash in, it just creates a new line. So it goes down to the next line inside of our output. So again, we can run this again. Let's type or press F5. So hello world, and I'll just type in Joe Blow. And again, it's doing exactly what we instructed it to do. Hello, Joe Blow. And that's pretty much all of our code that we have in our Perl program. And we are the best Perl programmers now in the world. <laughs> so congratulations, guys, if that worked. Congrats. And of course, again, I'll explain all of this in our further lectures and details. And we're going to be seeing a little bit more advanced examples. You can just follow along. You don't have to type it out. I'll just show you personal examples in more advanced Perl applications that I've built to kind of give you um, a heads up of what we'll be doing in this course.